the fucking owner didn't know the company's core values. Their own company that they started, created from scratch, didn't know their own core values. I'll tell you what, this is a very successful company too, or semi-successful. I wouldn't even say very successful if they don't even know their core values. But I'll tell you this, this multi-millionaire was a fucking fraud. What's up, freaks? Welcome to the Steve Eckert Show podcast. I am obviously Steve Eckert, and this is episode number three of the podcast. And this week, we're going to be talking about something very specific, something that could be your navigation, living your life and setting up to live life on your own terms to create your own ultimate freak freedom lifestyle. And that is core values. We're going to go deep into core values on the business side, on the personal side, from all different directions, core values is exactly what we're going to be diving deep into. And, and from a different perspective, a different lens than you're used to. Not just some bullshit that's written up on a wall that no one fucking remembers and it has no meaning or significance. That's what we're going to dive deep into in the show today on multiple levels. The Steve Harris Show is a show on how to flip the switch and have a no excuses, badass mindset, guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success while we show you how to operate to dominate in your mindset, your family, your fitness, and your business so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own fucking terms all while you create your personal ideal freak freedom lifestyle. And that's what we're going to dig into today here on episode three is a, a key factor into creating that lifestyle. Something to, to put the mirror in the mirror of, to put the lens against is these core values. That should help you Determine every, every decision you make, every opportunity you have should, should be asking yourself the question, is this in alignment with the ultimate freak freedom lifestyle I want to live? And a secondary question behind that is, does this align with my core values? Whatever your core values are, we're going to break it down. And this, this, this show is all about helping you to transform, helping men and women transform from basically from where you are to where you want to be, where you need to be and where you freaking deserve to be. And this is going to help you finally start living with a higher sense of purpose, living towards a higher calling, your ultimate freak freedom lifestyle through these core values. And we're going to talk about how to even weaponize these core values and flip that switch in your head so you can have an operating system, so you can operate to dominate. This is what this is all about. And so first off, do you, do you even have core values? And if you own a company or you work for a company, there's a, a good chance you probably have some core values in the company. Now, do you even know them? First of all, do you have them? Do you freaking know them? Do you know them word for word? And not just do you know them, can, not just can you recite them and have you memorized them? Do you know the significance? Do you know the meaning? Do you know what they actually stand for? Do they actually mean something to you? And then the next level of questioning for that, of this core values interrogation that I'm putting you on the spot for. And if this makes you a little uncomfortable, it should. Do you actually use them? Do you actually make decisions based on these core values? And are those core values in alignment with the lifestyle you want to live? What you stand for, who the fuck you are, what your company stands for, what the purpose of your company is. It all needs to be alignment. Because if your core values are, and, and, and I'll start off with the Marine Corps' core values, just honor, courage, commitment. We're going to go a little deeper into those in a second also, but that's a perfect place to start. They're very three very simple words, but they mean something very specific to the Marine Corps, to the military, to battle, to war, and I'll dive deep into that. So the, if your core values are something like integrity or whatever, service, shit like that, like what do those even mean? Just putting some generic words up on a wall and or even uh, your mission statement and all this other stuff that no one in the fucking company knows. Like, there's a problem with that. And I'm going to give you some examples of that. These, your, your core values, your, in our, our family, we call it the freak code. In the project, we call it the creed. And I'm going to give you all the examples of those. These are 
things to set your, your life to, things to set your decisions towards so you can operate to dominate in all these areas, areas of life. And this, it all starts. That's why they're core, the core, the center, the foundation. It all starts with those core values, that core, the fundamentals, the basics and fundamentals, because the basics and fundamentals win the war. Yeah, you can have the, the high ground, you could have the better technology, you could have more men, better weapons, but who's going to win the war is one that sticks to the basics and fundamentals consistently, disciplined over time throughout the chaos. And the foundation of those basics and fundamentals are your core values, are what's going to help you operate with a higher calling. Now, with the LTD, Leadership and Team Development Training, where, where we travel all around the country to companies and train their teams, almost every time I, I'll ask the CEO or if the owner of the company is involved, I'll ask them, are they going to be attending the event? And if they ever try to say that they're not going to be attending, I insist that they attend with their troops, whether it's their leadership team or the frontline workers that are, that are out there in the trenches. It doesn't matter. I insist that the CEO, the, the managers, the higher upper level, even all the way up into the owner, I insist that they attend these, these leadership teamwork workshops, communication, problem solving, critical thinking, work-life imbalance, because these are all things they need to humanize themselves with and sit there with their team. And here's something that's here, something that's funny, something fucking wild that happens when we do this. We'll sit there with an entire company, and we've had this with, with up to close to 100 participants in a group in a company where we're training them on these things. And we get to the core values section. Never once, not one single time, has there been a, a, a company who at least 50% of the people there in person knew all the core values that the company had. Never has there been more than 50% that have known the core values. And usually it's closer to 30%, probably I'd say even 20% that actually know them word for word. And out of those 20%, probably only 20% of that 20% actually understand the meaning of it and how it connects to the bigger picture, how it connects to the mission of the company and the reasoning behind it. It's fucking wild. And, and we're talking sometimes just the higher up level leadership teams that don't even know the core values. There was a time, several times actually, but one that stands out. There was this company and it doesn't matter the industry it's in because we're not here. Snitches end up in ditches. We're not talking about specifics or people or individuals, but there was a, a company we went to. There was about 60 people there, including the owner of the company. Core values time comes up. The fucking owner didn't know the company's core values. Their own company that they started, created from scratch, didn't know their own core values. I'll tell you what, this is a very successful company too, or semi-successful. I wouldn't even say very successful if they don't even know their core values. But I'll tell you this, this multi-millionaire was a fucking fraud. They didn't even know their own core values of the company that they have. The, the core values that they sometimes even discipline their team on. The things that they will oh, maybe write someone up or even fire someone over violating, they can't even tell you what they are themselves. That's a fucking fraud. And if that's you, if you're sitting here listening to this and you don't even know your own company's core values and don't even know what they really mean and how they connect to the bigger picture of the company, then, and, and then, and then you're also not using them actually utilizing them and implementing them in your decision-making and your hiring and firing and every decision you make is not put up against these core values, then you too, my friend, are a motherfucking fraud. And if that stings a little bit, that's fine. Listen, I'm, I'm not here just to tell you what you want to hear. I'm telling you the shit that you need to hear. Your core values, you need to set the standard, live the standard, and enforce the standard. Unfortunately, most people just want to enforce a standard. At most, sometimes they set the standard and enforce it, but they forget about the stage two. How about living the motherfucking standard? Setting the example, and you know this stuff, you've heard it before, leading by example. But actually just living that standard, living those core values. So this applies for leadership. This applies for accountability. This applies for your standards and expectations. So think about it. You have to set the core values, live the core values, and enforce the core values. Basically, that means set the standard, live the standard, and enforce the standard. And I'll tell you what. Next time you have a team meeting, 
have everyone close up their computers, take out a scratch piece of paper, write their name on the top of that piece of paper, and go through and have them write down their core values, the core values of the company, your company. You're a manager. You're a leader. Have them write it down. I guarantee you're going to be not only shocked, but you're going to be fucking disappointed and even disgusted at the outcome you have. Guarantee it. You, you have them in your business. Not probably. You definitely have a good percentage of people in your business because I've seen this happen through, after working with tens of thousands of people across the country, training them on leadership and teamwork and communication and coaching them both in a one-on-one setting and in a group or their entire company. I've seen it happen nonstop. Now, you probably have these core values in your, in your business, but here's the thing. Not only do you need to know those and understand those and, and utilize them, you should also have these core values in your freaking family and just life in general, just the way you operate. It's like an operating system for your life. You ha- if, why would you do things in a business to make it successful and not do the same things in your family? Like You need to be running that family very similarly, leading it very similarly, like Core values are like the GPS, the navigation system to your day, the North Star to keep you on fucking track. All that you do, say, and even think should be aligned with your freaking core values. All your decisions should be placed in front of the mirror of your core values. All of your team and your family should be expected to operate within your core values. Again, set the standard, live the standard, enforce the standard in accordance with your core values. And, and these shouldn't merely just be a bunch of fucking words on paper. They should actually have meaning and purpose to you personally, to the bigger picture, to again, to the higher calling. And you're going to hear me say that a lot because that's what the core values are. They are leading and in alignment with the higher calling. Now, I, I'm going I'm to take you through the journey of the different sets of core values. You can get an understanding, an understanding of how you should be thinking about this stuff. I'm going to tell you in the, both all the different businesses, the companies, the programs, the family core values that, that we have. In, in the Marine Corps, there's a, 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 our saying, which is semper fidelis, semper fi, which means always faithful to the, to the country, to the Marine Corps, and to your fellow Marines standing to your left and your right. And then the core values, as I mentioned earlier, are honor, courage, and commitment. That, these are the cornerstone, the bedrock, the heart of the fucking character of the United States Marine. And they have a meaning. They have deep, daily emphasis on your integrity, on your discipline, on your, on your duty, to the, to the country, to the Marine Corps, to your brothers. And adherence to these means doing the right thing under chaos, day in, day out, no matter what, even under harsh circumstances, over, through un- overwhelming adversity, sticking to and living and enforcing these core values. And... On, so honor, courage, commitment are the, are the Marine Corps core values. Honor is to just exemplify the ultimate in ethical and moral behavior, to never lie, to never cheat, to never steal, just being uncompromising code of conduct in your integrity, to re- respect your fellow Marines, respect your fellow fucking humans, to have respect and concern for each other and for your fucking self. Honor starts with your freaking self. That's why it has to be set it, live it, enforce it. That's the deeper level that we think about honor when it comes to, to the Marine Corps. Just being holding others responsible and to be accountable for your actions and your obligations and to hold others accountable for their actions and their obligations, that's honor. Then there's courage, there's courage. And we're not just talking about physical courage in combat and jumping on a grenade and saving your people and doing courageous physical acts. We're talking about mental and moral in addition to the physical strength that Marines are expected to carry themselves with through everyday life, personally, professionally, combat, wartime, peacetime, doesn't matter. It's basically the mastery of your fear to do what's right, no matter what, even if it's going against the, the popular vote or whatever else. To adhere to that higher standard of personal conduct, to lead by example and show the motherfucking way and make those tough decisions under stress and pressure. That, that courage, that inner, deeper strength to your freaking bones that enables you to go one more set, one more rep, make one more move to accomplish a freaking mission. That's honor and courage. Then there's commitment. That is just this, the determination and dedication with 
the Marine Corps and the, the country, commitment to the country, commitment to the core, commitment to yourself, commitment, the way you, you show up and the, and the professionalism that you have, the discipline you have, the highest order of fucking discipline. And we're talking discipline all the time, especially when no one's watching, especially when no one's telling you what to do, getting in the absence of orders, still having that discipline. That is motherfucking commitment. That is pride. That's what you should be thinking about when you think of pride, not some bullshit that gets thrown out your, down your throat on the freaking internet. We're talking about unrelenting determination to, to hold and achieve these high standards of excellence in everything you do. And then the Marine Corps uses those core values to guide everything, to guide performance, to guide behavior, con- to guide how you conduct yourself on a daily basis every fucking minute. That's really what where one of my own core values comes from bring the fucking fire every second of every second and we're going to get into those and because these marine corps core values they they could relate to everything and the way i'm describing them is the same way you need to be thinking about your core values personally and professionally in your family and in your business you should be expected your team should be expected to live by these core values not only during active uh, negotiations or active times of base times that are busy and crazy but every fucking day for the rest of their life whether there's instructions or orders no matter what like it needs to be in every action every task every circumstance every freaking situation living according to these core values now let's shift gears so that that's we're talking about the military let's shift gears into one of the businesses otd this is operate to dominate this is the one-on-one coaching and group coaching business that i run it's otd operate to dominate in your mindset your family, your fitness, and your business. And this starts off one of my core values that that transfers from the business to all the different businesses. There's a couple that there's crossing fields of fire where they they apply to every single business, every single thing, because they're just the real deep rooted core of everything. Number one is bring the fucking fire every second of every second. I mentioned that already. Number two is operate to dominate, not to survive, not to compete, but to fucking dominate. Number three is if you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. That reminds me of a time when I I had the gym open in New York and we used to do this free boxing class every Thursday night. And I had a personal training client who he finished up his session that Thursday morning and he, he told me he had some I think the superintendent or the director of something of the entire education system in the, in the county was coming to try the, the free boxing class with his family that day. He said, so the, the client told me, so make sure you really give them a good workout. You give them an awesome workout. I said, listen, motherfucker, you don't need to tell me to give them a good workout. They're going to get top level service, whether it's one person, whether it's a million people, they are, if you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. If you're always ready, you never have to get ready. If you're always fucking prepared, you never have to get, have to get prepared. I don't care if it was Mike Tyson, Michael Jackson, Mahatma Gandhi, or Mike from down the fucking street, they're going to get the same level of service when they come into that session. So it doesn't matter who they're coming in. It doesn't matter when they're coming in. They're always going to get that level. Nothing more, nothing less than all in, all out, all the motherfucking time. That's what, if you're always on your A game, you never have to get in your A game means. The fourth core value of OTD is speed of implementation. Meaning, don't just consume information. Don't just create it. Go and implement it. Put it out there. Live by this stuff. Number five is let go and fucking grow, meaning you have to delegate to elevate. You have to scale or you will fail. It means you have to let go of some things. Let go of the shit that's not serving you anymore. Let go of the bullshit that's around. Let go of the bullshit stories in your head. Number six is to have a white belt mentality, to be always learning. Lose your freaking ego. Have a never-ending Never ending lifelong learning. No matter what level you get at, don't be a freaking know it all. The worst thing you could ever say as a leader or a person or just a, a human is, oh, I already know that. Don't be a fucking know it all. No one likes a know it all. Show up with that white belt mentality. So you're always learning. You're a beginner. You're fresh. So you can learn something new every day. Learn something new from every freaking person that you meet. If you don't know where white belt came from in, in the old martial arts, however long ago that, that, it, that the belt systems were created, the reason why there's like white and then gray 
and then blue and then brown or purple and then brown and black, the more experience they had, their belt would just get dirtier. And the different shades of dirt would go from white to the all different shades all the way to black. So when your belt was just covered in sweat and blood and gunk, it'd be a black belt, meaning you had that level of experience. So show up with that white belt every day where you subdue your freaking ego and don't be a know-it-all. Be open-minded, ready to listen and hear and observe and fucking learn. The seventh core value of OTD, of operate to dominate the one-on-one coaching and group coaching is adapt and overcome. To expect, accept, and prepare for changing chaos. It's fucking coming. There's going to be change. There's going to be chaos. The universe is going to bitch slap you. You're going to get kicked in the nuts on a regular basis. You need to adapt and overcome, to be flexible, to have bounce back ability, to have emotional resilience, to be able to bounce back to center when you get knocked off center. Emotional discipline means staying in the center. Emotional resilience is when you get knocked off center to be able to recenter yourself, to get back to center, to get back to that emotional discipline. Number eight of the core values is to contribute. To create solutions, not problems. Be a problem solver, not a problem maker. Always contribute. Contribute to everything. Show up with a a giving hand. What value can you bring to the situation? Give give 10 times more than you would ever even ask for. And those 10 times are even going to be bigger than the ask you eventually are going to ask for. Like outdo it. Show up with value. Show up with help. Show up with contributions. Number nine is every move moves the needle. Meaning everything you do has a, a purpose. There's nothing, nothing wasted. No wasted days, no wasting time, no wasted energy or effort or emotion. Show up with intention and attention on everything you're doing. And you see how these, these are for a, a coaching business. These could apply to anywhere in the world. These could apply to the military. They could apply to a business. They could also apply personally to a, a, a home. We're going to get to the home ones here in a second. And number 10, of course, is no excuses, never make any, never accept any. That's one of the the core, core values that are in every group of core values that, that we ever have. So that's the professional side. Let's shift over to the personal side. In our family, we call it the free code. These are our family values, and there's different tiers of them. We have the code, which is a little longer. There's, there's 12 words, and then we have the, what we call the operating system, which are really three of those core values from the business that, that we live on. And then we have the, the basic tenant core values, the foundation of it all that the the free code is really based off of. So I'm going to break all those down for you. I'm just going to run through them real quick for you so you can get an understanding of how you should be thinking as a company, how you should be thinking as a, a family member, as a leader, as a man, as a provider, as a protector. So here's our free code. Our free code is based off of a single word and then it, it, each word, yeah, it's a very generic word. Like the first one is mission. But after that, it's not just the word mission. It's specifically explaining. And everyone in the family is expected to know these core values. Everyone in the family is expected to understand the meaning of these core values, why we chose them, what impact they have on the family, what impact you have on the family when they're not followed. So number one is mission. I will put the mission and the family before myself. Number two is the mind. I will strengthen my mind every day, reading, writing, meditating, reflecting, journaling, because without a strong mind, a strong body is freaking useless. Number three is body. I will strengthen and build my body every freaking day because without a strong body, that strong mind is useless. Number four is connect. I will connect with each individual member of this family and the family as a whole every day. And you see, these all have significance. These are all important and specific to our family in general. They all have a reason why we chose these things because we believe in, that's why the, the body, the fitness, the training every day, we believe in having the discipline of physical fitness to keep yourself healthy and energetic and a, and a, and a positive attitude. That's why connect, connect is a huge one here, number four, because I'll tell you what, when I was a kid and then growing up and then moving out of the house, I did not have a, any connection with my family, especially not my father. That was just not drilled. It was not groomed. We were not taught to even operate that way. So that's why I make it a, a freaking non-negotiable to make that one of it. Think of that. Like I will connect with each individual member of this family and the family as a whole every day. So that means each individual separately and everyone as a whole every freaking day. Think about the power in that shit. Number five is discipline. I will maintain discipline as my foundation 
in everything I do and say, never making any excuses and staying in the green. Don't worry about staying in the green. We will get to that in future episodes. But if you know, you freaking know. Number six is energy. I'll bring infectious energy and maximum effort to every situation, conversation, interaction, and room that I enter. Number seven is confidence. I will always have confidence, the confidence to think for myself, believe in myself, to figure it out, and make the decisions that seem right. Because if you're following all these other core values, you will most likely be making a decision that you think is right. And guess what? If it's not, you'll figure it out as a freaking family. You'll have the confidence your family's going to back you up. Number eight is to attack. Freaking attack. I will wake up early every day. Take immediate action. Never waste time. Make shit happen and attack the day and all obstacles that come with it. Number nine is to listen. I will shut the fuck up. Listen first and then respond. Not letting my emotions control me, considering all things that I hear. Number 10 is to create. I will take risks, make bold moves, put myself out there to create and contribute ways to make the family even more happy and successful, including making money. Number 11 is to win. I will maintain my positive attitude in all situations. Even if I fail, I will always find the win or the lesson. I will weaponize my losses. I will weaponize my fuck-ups and failures. And I will have the confidence from the earlier core value to know that my family, my team has my freaking back. And number 12 is protect. I will defend and protect the safety of this family at all costs. And then finally, there is freak. I will be my freak self every freaking day. Now that's the freak code. Then we have the uh, freak operating system, which is just the three main ones. Like if you had to ball them up into an operating system, it'd be the same three that were in also in the business one, which which I told you there's overlapping fields of fire. If you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. If to bring the fucking fire every second of every second and no excuses, never accept any, never make any. That's if if you had to ball it up into three, that'd be the three. And then if you had to say, okay, let's put this all in an umbrella, our quick go-to ways to just change our state, to remember who the fuck we are, what we're about, we would say that the really, our deep-rooted core values are these. To really break it all down, the umbrella that covers all that is, is just for them. It's just be a freak. Again, stay in the green. That means control your shit, have emotional discipline, emotional resiliency, no excuses, And I am fucking awesome to remind yourself that I am fucking awesome. And tell yourself that all the time. Tell each other that all the time. Now, that's, we talked about the military. We talked about business. We talked about family. And I'll tell you what, if you don't have these in your business, if you don't have these in your family and know them, shame on you, motherfucker. It's time to get to work. It's time to get to fucking work. And if you need help crafting these, just let me know. Reach out. We could talk about it. We could help you walk you through this, how to actually make this happen. Because think about how fucked up that is. Just like in your schedule, you have shit on your schedule for the company, for business, for your employees, for sales calls, and, and you, 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 your family gets the leftovers of it. Then you, you spend all this time, you'll have a team meeting, and you'll create these core values. And then you don't have core values for your family. Like, what the hell does your family stand for? What is the importance and significance of your family? How is your family expected to operate, to live? What is the code that they live by? And I'll quickly run you through even now you can think of the project. This is a specific program for men to be better husbands, better fathers, better entrepreneurs, better leaders, better motherfucking men. And I'll run you through the, we call it the project creed. It's, it's really essentially, it's a, a set of core values for the project, for this specific program. Now, I'm telling you all these things so you can get an idea. You can get a, start visualizing and envisioning what yours should look like. The project, it's, it's very, it's 10 lines to it. It's, I'm a man of my word. I make a promise and I keep it. I'm responsible for everything in my life and it gives me the power and control to change my circumstances. I lead when called upon and follow when I must. I show respect to my fellow man, demand respect back and grovel to no one. And if you don't know what grovel means, go look that shit up in the fucking dictionary. I protect those who can't protect themselves. I leave others better than I found them. I have high standards of expectations, tremendous attention to detail, and I'm driven to dominate life. I am the modern day knight. Listen to the power in those fucking words. It's easy to look at those, the Marine Corps, look at the OTD, the coaching that we talked about, look at the family core values and look at the project creed 
And every day, just ask yourself, look at them, read through them, your, your values. And did I live my life according to that? It's easy to judge your life. It's easy to judge your progress. It's easy to see where there's holes in the game, where there's cracks in the system. It's easy to see what you need to improve on. And I'll tell you what, if you don't have them, if you don't know them, again, shame on you. So as you, as you can see, these are some strong thoughts and beliefs and guidelines to, to operate in your life on, to operate to fucking dominate in all areas of your life, your mindset, your family, your fitness, your business. That's what this is all about. That's what this is all about. So what are your company's core values? What do they personally mean to you? Do you even have family core values? I want you to even send them to me. I'm going to give you some fucking homework. Yeah, you're going to get homework here on a podcast. You're sitting there driving your car, listening to this, and you're getting all motivated and pumped up, up by it. But if you remember, one of those was speed of implementation. Don't just soak shit in. Don't just listen to these shows and this shit you're just listening to in your car when you're working out. Take action on this shit. So I'm challenging you. I know I'm not only challenging you. I am commanding you to go and, and look at what are your company's core values? What do they personally mean to you? What does the significant mean they have in the company? How do they tie into the bigger picture of the company, to the overall mission of the company? And then do you have family core values? And how are those, what, what do they mean to your family, to how your family is expected to operate? That's what, what I want your homework to be for this. And, and I want to keep going back to it. If you don't know them, first, if you don't set them, if you don't live by them, do not fucking enforce them. Nothing worse than, imagine this, you're in a, you're, you're the manager in a business and you're hiring someone and, and you're talking about core values and you're getting them all hyped up. They love the company culture and all this other stuff. They love core value. They love your core values. They love what the company's about. They love the culture. And they, this, this new motivated rock star is joining the team. He's there for a week, two weeks. He's really getting engulfed into the onboarding process, the, the learning the culture of the company. And he comes to you, the manager, the owner, the one who hired him, the one who interviewed him, put him through all this, these hard questions in the interview. And he asks you a question about the core values, about core value number four. And it, he really came across a situation where that really helped him today. He had to think back to the core values and it got him through this difficult situation in the office. And he's asking you about it. And you have no fucking clue what the core value number four is. And you got to open up your little, your little fruit phone and go scroll and find your own damn core values on your website because you don't know. Them. Imagine that type of situation. Yet you're going to go and hire and fire people and reprimand people based on these core values. But you don't know them yourself. Don't forget that millionaire that was a fucking fraud. Don't forget about that. Don't be that dude. I'll tell you that. Do not be... That one that doesn't know the freaking core values. That doesn't, that, that should be where all your decisions are based off, personally and professionally, off of your core values, your free code, your creed, whatever you want to call it. Values, code, creed, mission, however you want to word it, it doesn't matter. Create them, set them, live them, enforce them, implement them, know why they exist, know what they freaking mean. So I'm challenging you to make this happen. Stop what you're doing. Make this, uh, uh, put this on your calendar to work on tomorrow. Dig deep into it. Challenge your team members to know it. Challenge your family to know it. Sit down with your family and create these together. Have some fun with it. Make it, make it a, an adventure. Make it a journey. Come up with these core values together and let everyone contribute to what are the, what is the code of your family? And then hold everyone to that standard. Let's do this. Let's make it happen. This is what this show is all about. To operate, to dominate, to flip that switch in your mindset, in your family, in your fitness, in your business. And it starts with the basics and fundamentals. It starts with these core values, with the code, with the creed. Make it happen. I'm challenging you. I'm demanding you. I'm giving you the order to make this shit fucking happen. And I want you to send me uh, uh, an email or a message. Let me know all about it. And if this video is helping you, I want you to like and subscribe to this channel. Share this with your friends. Share this with your mama. Whoever needs to know about this, share this with your spouse so you could work on this shit together. Share this to your team members or maybe share it to your boss, to the owner or the manager above you. There should be leadership up and down the chain of command. There should be leadership laterally. You should be able to give feedback up and down the chain of command. That might be something you need to tie into some of those core values. Make this shit happen. I am ordering you to get this shit done. Dig into your core values. Dig into your family core values. Make it happen. Let me know how it goes. Let me know if you need any help with it. And we can set up a time to help you walk you through this to make it happen. This has been episode 
number three of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. Again, like, subscribe, share, and put on notifications so you do not ever miss an upcoming episode because I'm telling you, these things we're going to go over in this podcast, this is free coaching that can literally change your life, transform your life, help you flip the fucking switch and make you millions of dollars in the process if you just follow this template of all these episodes coming up, previous and the ones coming up. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.